people all over this planet for at least 6,000 years have been influenced by extraterrestrials, the Dracos and the Reptilians. They have taken the information that is in essentially every school on the planet and they've modified the information. All history documentation in this country and on every country on the planet have been given lies about astronomy, lies about mathematics, lies about uh, uh, technical uh, capabilities, lies about the universe, you name it, okay? Everything have been lies. Every PhD on this planet, whether they're scientific, whether they're medical, makes no difference. Every book that they read the six years they were in the university are lies. They're not telling the truth. They were not taught the truth. At that time, we had 34 admirals in the Navy. All of them had been through Annapolis. They learned how to learn everything about the Navy, everything about history, everything about mathematics, everything about astronomy, you name it. They learned all lies. So who did the Secretary of Navy Forrestal select for this job? Turns out Admiral Riccobata was not an American. He was born in Australia. The Secretary of the Navy selected an Austra Australian man who had not been infected with the lies that the reptilians had taught us. He was freer of that. So the Secretary of the Navy was aware of this because he had been contacted by Nordic extraterrestrials, people here trying to help the United States. Okay? Very important point. So, when I was selected, I hadn't been to the universities. I hadn't gotten the bad information. I hadn't been given the wrong information, and this is the reason I was selected, because I was knowledgeable of the Navy, I was knowledgeable of what the threats were, but I hadn't gone to the university and picked up all the lies. Very important. Greetings. This is a short transmission from the ruling council of the local galactic government, which you refer to as Galactic Confederation. Operations to remove the on and off world forces hostile to you have now reached a critical point. Our fleets have successfully engaged each of these factions in massive and overwhelming force, reducing their space capabilities to nothing. However, they still constitute a threat to your populations and we must proceed cautiously. Operations to remove the remaining hostile forces below the surface of your planet will continue as our ships are now heading towards your lower atmosphere. Your near-Earth orbit is now freed from malevolent physical interference. The remaining secret space programs factions have accepted the terms of the Galactic Codex and are prepared to contribute to the advancement of your people by releasing their hidden technology for civilian use in due time. In accordance with the terms of the Galactic Codex Section 4 relative to the Law of Intervention, we now declare the Near-Earth Orbit Confederation space and this planet Confederation domain. Various contact protocols at both individual and collective levels are now being initiated. Thank you for your attention.